developments now in the ongoing tensions in the Middle East overnight. A U.S. official confirmed President Trump signed off on an airstrike against Iran, then changed his mind, calling it off at the last minute. Now the big question is why? Mark Lehman's gathering the latest information for us and is live in the newsroom now. And Mark, this all comes after Iran's accused of shooting down a U.S. drone this week. Yes, the president hinted at retaliation for that on Thursday, and it appeared an operation was in the works, but then that attack was suddenly called back. That action leaving many in the region wondering what's next. It was an apparent change of heart overnight as tensions have been rising between the U.S. and Iran. CBS News confirming that President Trump signed off on a limited airstrike against Iranian assets, but then abrupt reversal. Sources within the administration saying the order to stand down came while preparations were already underway. And they made a very bad mistake. The intentions behind the decision are unclear, but it comes after the White House and Tehran have been exchanging accusations over the downing of an American drone in the Strait of Hormuz. The shootdown of uh, aircraft over international airspace is an act of war. The administration, um, I anticipate, will respond in a, an appropriate way. The U.S. says the drone was above international waters. Iran insists it was in its airspace. On Thursday, President Trump met with congressional leaders in the Situation Room. After that briefing, top Democrats urged caution. How we go forward from here has to be strategic uh, and smart uh, as and in close alliance with our, our allies. The U.S. also blamed Iran for last week's attacks on oil tankers in the Gulf of Oman, attacks which increased tension in the entire region. And we're expecting to learn much more about the overnight decision throughout the morning. Now, over the last few hours, we've received details about air travel in the region. We know of at least four international, major international carriers that have made the decision to not fly over the Strait of Hormuz. For now, reporting in the newsroom, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.